Hello, my name is Jocelyn and this is about isopods and a microscope from Amazon that was fairly inexpensive. Um, I had to use it with my hand mostly because using the stand was kind of rough. Um, the isopods like to move a whole lot. Here I was able to get really good video of a fairly youngish isopod eating on something green. I couldn't really ever determine what the green thing was. But he really chomped on it for a while. And I was able to get this cool video. Um, I'm saying he's young because the older ones that are bigger tend to be very dark. But if you think or have proof that he is actually older, let me know. Um, I'm just getting into isopods. Uh, based off of a YouTube video from a YouTube channel called Life in Jars. There he goes. Eventually he loses interest and he walks away. There he goes. Here goes another one of I guess a younger one because he looks pretty translucent. And I want to say he was smaller than the bigger ones. It was hard to get used to focusing. I had to edit out a lot of jerky motions to avoid making you all sick watching this. And I tried to focus on just the parts that look came out crisp. I'm fairly impressed with the microscope for the money that it costs. Um, it was a gift too, so I'm super glad that my dad bought it for us to play with. This one's a little bit darker, so a little bit older. And then at some point I put them in a little container and um, here's one kind of rolled over. I would check to see if they had eggs. They do not like to stay still when they're on their backs. Hopefully they weren't too stressed out. You can see little eggs, I think. Let me know if I'm guessing right. I think those are eggs though. Some more little shots of the eggs. And apparently they'll keep their eggs for a few weeks and they can even keep the babies in there for a while too. I didn't realize it took a long time to make isopod babies. I promise you they weren't too stressed out and I'd get them back on their backs or back on their legs where they like to be. This one is a bigger one but it had a really neat color. There's some kind of webbing there. And I love the little patterns on their backs. I'm trying to paint an isopod currently. Um, so watch out for that video. And hopefully I can do them justice because they're actually really pretty. And have nice little patterns in their exoskeleton, I guess. Some more of their little feet. They move around so quick. That one kind of has a little dirt all stuck to him. You see some hair. Um, I want to say this was at 50 times magnification. Oh, here you can see two different colored ones. And the brown one is pretty small compared to the darker gray one. Very active little guys. Squirming and squirming. They don't really like to stay still. So it got really lucky in the beginning. Well, not in the beginning. I just happened to put that in the beginning of the video. Uh, the little boy chomping on something green. Or a little dude. 
I haven't researched yet, but I'm sure there's probably something about telling the the sexes based off of the tails. The back end. And there goes one running away. And we're getting towards the end. Here's a picture of the micro the microscope endoscope. It's by C Sci. Um, I'll add a link in the description. And here are all of the names for roly-polies isopods let me know what you used to call them as kids or call them now i really liked grampy coochies thanks for watching